On the global scene, Cameroonian farmers do not stand a fair chance. Agricultural subsidies by American and European governments distort international trade rules. Trade agreements further compound the impact of these subventions as the import of cheaper subsidized products spoils the opportunity for Cameroonian producers to develop a local economy with their merchandise. Besides, trade agreements allow foreign companies to encroach on the fields of local subsistence farmers who lack the legal protection and counsel on land ownership rights. Cultivating rich volcanic soil, producers associated with one of Relufa's member organizations grow and dry fruits for an equitable trade partnership with Swiss churches. Some of them are among 43 family heads who were expelled from their fields to make way for vast plantations of a French banana export business affiliated with the American Dole Food Company Incorporated. Mr. Foca, for example, lost five of his seven acres and is still fighting compensation issues in the courts. Others have been offered jobs as day laborers in the banana plantations, but earning minimum wage for a 10 to 12 hour day of hard physical labor under unhealthy working conditions is hardly dignifying. Donc on avait son plan état qu'on travaillait ensemble et chacun avait sa parcelle. Bon, ma parcelle, il y avait au moins 10 hectares d'exploitation. 10 hectares dans son plan état, là. Nous l'avons détruit en 1999. Moi, j'avais trois. Trois hectares. Il y avait un hectare et demi. J'avais trois hectares. Dans le groupe, j'avais deux et demi. J'avais 46 hectares. Oui, moi, j'avais 5 hectares dans l'ancien dans groupe. On nous a détruit en 99, dans lequel ils avaient 4 hectares et demi. While raising awareness about the struggles of Cameroonian fruit farmers against the world's largest fresh fruit producer, Relufa is organizing to offer American consumers an alternative, grown and processed according to fair trade standards by producers affiliated with the network. Dried pineapple, mango, papaya, and banana will soon be marketed in the U.S. through Partners for Just Trade.